The crankshaft journals should be smooth and free from any surface damage and the oilways must be checked. Where bearings have failed for no obvious reason, the crankshaft must be checked for bow. This can be done using normal workshop tools. With the crankshaft cleaned and lubricated, it's seated on V-blocks and a dial gauge set in position on the centre journal. By rotating the shaft, any deflection of the dial gauge hand will be the crankshaft bow. This reading must not exceed two hundredths of a millimetre. With a basic clearance of two to seven hundredths of a millimetre between journal and shell bearing, any bow greater than two hundredths of a millimetre will result in metal-to-metal -metal contact and bearing failure. To detect a fracture without special equipment, use the following method. The ring test. Tap the shaft with a piece of metal. A fractured shaft will sound dull, especially compared to a good shaft that will ring clear and long. All rotating parts are balanced to within 5 grams during manufacture. In the case of the crankshaft, by removing metal from the counterbalances. The blue that you can see either side of the journal is created during the hardening process and should not be confused with the journal overheating. 